Hello everyone, well, thanks for tuning in to today's only video. We're going to have a look at the weather for this 10, 14 days for today's only video. So day 10 will take us to the 17th of November. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with BX Energy FS and ECM Ensembles. They run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks and for December itself. And I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say no 6 a.m. forecast today or Jeremy Friday. Hopefully, uh, they'll all be back uh, next week. Don't think they'll be doing a pub run live tonight. I think my voice is a little bit shaky to do that. And uh, I've also got to get Amlong's creative for the next winter update, actually. So um, I think we'll probably uh, pass on pub run live uh, this week and uh, do it next week, if that's all right with everyone. <coughs> So sorry, sorry, anyway. Uh, right, okay, so let's start the video anyway, Ben. I'm going to look at the latest wind from from Earth from NullSchool.net, showing that we've got low pressure in the Atlantic, low pressure South Green, Iceland, the below. So west of the UK and Ireland. So pretty active Atlantic, but we have got quite a lot of ridging over across Europe as well. So, um,. As these areas of low come up against that high pressure, kind of decelerating, but will bring uh, further rain at times. I've got a century in temperature day. Had we seen to be down, don't know what's happened there. Hopefully, we'll be able to bring that to you tomorrow. These are GFS upper air temperature precipitation ensembles. Next couple of weeks, looking at Cardiff today. So, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Cardiff. Starting off a little bit above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. We're going to see them increasing even more, though, as we go on towards the middle part of the month. So, next week, turning a very mild. They're going to see a bit of a cool down and a reversion. Back to uh, nearer normal temperatures, a lot of scatter uh, within that. So, of course, we've got milder ensemble members up here, we've got colder um, ensemble members, though, um, down there. So, a lot of scatter within that. Precipitation wise, we see large precipitation spikes really from beginning. Uh, to end, so maybe can't in the west, of course. So, if we look at somewhere like London, it probably won't be as wet as that, but nevertheless, we are in for uh, quite a lot of wet weather for more western uh, regions, if nothing else. Temperature anomalies for the next, uh, f um, next five days, 12th of uh, November, above average, and the 10 to 14 day. <coughs> So, so again, it went 10 to 14 day to the 21st of November. Then it's turning significantly cooler. And for the north, colder than average precipitation. Anomaly is for the next seven days. Quite interesting. Uh, drier than average anomaly for the far east and southeast, but wetter than average out in the west. We 10 to 16 is generally drier than average in most places. Uh, 8 to 14. Again, drier than average in most places. Right, let's start going through uh, the chart data then. So, this is our latest UK Met Euro run. It's looking at me die on Monday. Low pressure will be heading in from off the Atlantic. And so, through next week, we're going to find low pressure in control and in the ascendancy, being wet weather with it. Eventually, some cooler or colder air starts trying to push southwards into the north, but being held up by this next low coming up from the south. We have got a blocking air of high pressure around. Greenland and Iceland there uh, as well, by the way. So quite an interesting and unusual pattern. The icon looks like this. Low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. As we go through the early part of next week, we'll be bringing wet weather. Uh, where it heights building mode to the east, so not much rain getting through to the east. Most of the wet weather will be in the west. And by the end of next week, that's the setup. So high pressure is building towards Greenland and Iceland. A blocking area of high is getting going there. We remain mild up to that point, though, with winds continuing from that southerly or southeasterly direction. And then the uh, KMA is looking like this. So once again, low pressure comes in off the Atlantic through uh, next week, bringing a lot of wet weather 
in with it. Quite a significant area of low setting up by the time we get through to uh, the 15th of November there. And as that one clears south, with then colder air begins to dig in from the north and from the northeast. So we could start to see uh, wintry showers developing there, maybe, uh, with that low sat in the North Sea and over Denmark. So to eventually get to a colder pattern with the KMA, but a lot of wet weather to get out of the way uh, before that. The GFS uh, Midnight Run looks like this. So again, low pressure is heading in from off the Atlantic, bringing quite a lot of wet weather in with it. Uh, that's set up by the end of next week. So low pressure to chart, still drawing up that mild subling, but high pressure building around Greenland, trying to push down that colder uh, north to northeasterly then. The low does eventually get out of the way and we open the door to a colder um, run of northern winds. Then the next low comes in from off the Atlantic, bringing lots of heavy rain, possibly a bit of snow in with that one as well. And then low pressure stays in control, really, all the way up to the end of the GFS midnight run, very unsettled run, up to 23rd of November, with a lot of heavy rain to come. The GFS 6 Z in comparison, looking like this, again, low pressure bringing plenty of rain with it, mild southerly winds in the south, colder via the blocking area of high pressure uh, further north. So we find that low eventually clearing away to the south, we have a big blocking area of high pressure around Greenland. Ice and really ramping up those heights over Greenland there with a GFS 6 there. But somehow or other, we managed to stay on the mild side of the blocking and of the areas of low pressure. So not much in way of cold, but certainly a very unusual pattern and a large amount of uh, northern blocking uh, that we see there around day 10 and uh, just beyond it. <clears throat> If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all my videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about guys when you get to right too. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. GM again bringing low pressure in from off the Atlantic as we're moving uh, through next week, but with miles southerly southwesterly winds continuing so mild and wet at times day 10 building the heights up over greenland but we're still under that area of low pressure not able to force the cold air southwards up to a uh, day 10 and then the ecm is uh, rounding it all off again with low pressure heading in from off the atlantic will be bringing quite a lot of wet weather in with it heights building over greenland though and uh, eventually, we find the low pressure clear away to the east. So the east so does turn the, turn the wind around to a colder north to northeasterly. And then uh, we go into what looks like quite an extended cold pattern, actually, with a big mid Atlantic ridge. Low pressure to our south and the east. We're drawing down a proper north to northeasterly there. Uh, upper air temperatures will be easy, um, looking like that. So, of course, mild in about a week's time. Still with both southerly winds. But in the extended, that's when the cold air starts to uh, come southwards with that minus 5 Celsius isotherm. So, not a big freeze, but certainly turning substantially colder with the ECM in the extended range. Risen for precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from tometro.com up to day 10 plenty of wet weather to come bouts of rain particularly in the west but not exclusively so and a very unsettled 10 days on the way these are the options on the table within the east Dev ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 17th of November. 15 members of the ECM on top of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and wind coming in from the north from the north is colder than uh, low pressure is down to the south. 14 with high pressure ridging up from the southwest. That tried to bring milder air up from the southwest. We've got nine low pressure over to the east coach. High pressure to block it towards Greenland. Winds coming in for colder north northeasterly. We've got seven with high pressure in the Atlantic up towards Greenland. Winds coming in 
for the colder east to northeast direction. And we've got six with high pressure between Iceland and Scotland, mostly dry but chilly with those easterly winds continuing. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Guess the 22nd of November, 17 members of the ECM on songs with a mid Atlantic ridge going towards Greenland. we coming in for a colder north northeasterly direction. 13, high pressure right over top of country. 12 with high pressure up towards Greenland, low pressure on southeast winds coming in from a north northeasterly direction. And then we've got nine with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. So a real mixed bag at both day 10 and day 14, telling us that there is the possibility that the weather will be turning colder, but it's certainly not a done deal by any means. CFSB2 is a 500 millibar high tolerance breaking down into week periods of first week period text from the 7th to 13th of November. Next week sees low pressure to our west and south winds coming up from a southerly direction, mild and unsettled. Week 2 will be the 14th to 20th of November with high pressure over and to the east of the country. Winds coming up from a southerly southeasterly. Week 3 is going to be the 21st, 27th of November. High pressure over and to the east of the country, mostly dry and probably mild. And then at week four, quite a change. It's the 28th of November to the 4th of December with low pressure into the north. We're probably coming in from the northwest, so not all that mild. It could actually be uh, a little bit chilly, hint of a northerly bear, maybe. CFS overall for December looks like that. High pressure to the south and winds coming in from a west to southwesterly uh, direction. Temperature anomaly is substantially above average and the precipitation anomaly is, uh, well, no signal really, but you'd expect a, a dryish and mildish month with that, I would have thought. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, thank you so much for everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys, but get subscribed to you. So, thank you for doing that. So, I say, put no pub run tonight. Voice is a little bit shaky, and I've got to get the uh, winter update analogs or get some of them done anyway, uh, ready, for, uh, ready for the weekend. So, uh, tomorrow, um, well, just watch your space. We'll certainly have a 10 to 14 day out. Other content likely as well, hopefully. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your Friday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.